Good morning, South Carolina. I'm Tammy Newman, the Director of Communications and Public Relations for the South Carolina High School League. We are extremely thrilled this morning to have so many special guests joining us to talk about this Saturday's Day of Champions. I'm telling you, we've got a lot going on this weekend and we're so excited to have tennis as part of that action. But before we meet our special guest, we will have some warm regards from Commissioner Jerome Singleton. Thank you, Ms. Newman. Congratulations. You've earned your way to the top. You've completed a fun season, I'm sure. Please enjoy this experience and treasure this moment. You are our ambassador, <clears throat> and we know that you will represent us well. Thank you for doing what you do so well. Enjoy the press conference and the contest. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Singleton. And uh, if anyone enjoys our championships, it is Commissioner Singleton. He does uh, make sure that he's got an appearance at each of these. And I can tell you that this the office is a buzz with everything that we have going on, not only this week, but the following weeks. But, uh, and before we get started, I'd also like to make mention of some very special partners that we have with uh, Lexington Medical Center, as well as Wilson. Wilson, as we all know, is the best in the business at athletic equipment. So thank you, Wilson, for supporting our sports, especially tennis. Also, Lexington Medical Center. Wow, can't say enough about them. They have joined us and not only help support student athletes and our membership, but also the community at large. Um, with everything that we that's occurred this year, last two years, our medical community has really stepped up and Lexington Medical Center has really superseded anything that we could have imagined with the support that they've provided to not only the South Carolina High School League, but the state and the Midlands. So again, thank you so much, Lexington Medical Center. We're going to get started by introductions with our each each of our classes for this Saturday's tennis championships. Starting off, I'd like to introduce our class 2A competitors. That will be Christchurch versus Philip Simmons. From Christchurch, we have Coach Sherry Adams. Also with her sisters, Sydney Mitchell a ninth grader, and Caroline Mitchell, a senior. Next, from Philip Simmons, we have Coach Richard Schultz. And with him, we have two sophomores, Ansley Cohen and Amelia Werrett. Welcome, looking forward to that this weekend. Our next matchup, <clears throat> will be class 3A, and that is Chapman versus Oceanside Collegiate. From Chapman, we have Coach Mark Lansing. And with him, he has brought freshman Wesleyan Morris and Elizabeth Williams, a senior. And representing Oceanside Collegiate, we have Coach Sean Harris. And Grace Birchtold, a senior, and another senior, Ashton Loring. Welcome, thank you. And from class 4A will be AC Flora High versus Lucy Beckham High. From AC Flora, we have coach Amy Martin. And with her, Siona Sturgeon, a junior, and Francis Smith, another junior. And I um, do not think we have Lucy Beckham on at the moment. So we're gonna, we'll, we'll skip over that and hopefully bring them on a little later. We'll, we'll have them join us. From class 5A, we have Riverside High versus Carolina Forest High. Representing Riverside, we have A.D. Michael Petit, Pettit, excuse me, <laughs> and with him, senior Zona Norton and Emma Bow, a junior. 
and representing Carolina Forest. We have Coach Alex McNabb and Olivia Bull, a freshman, and our youngest participant today, an eighth grader, Katie Godfrey. Welcome everyone, welcome. So, so many questions to ask you all. And I will start with some questions for our coaches and these are all at random. So just buckle up and we're gonna get it all out there and get, get some information to our public. Uh, I'll, I'll start off with a question in our, our class 2A. We're gonna start with Coach Richard Schultz. Uh, Coach, can you tell us what was your biggest obstacle getting to state this year? It was a real challenge. We played a lot of really good schools to get ready. Uh, we lost to Christchurch last year. They were the state champions and we're back again and we're very, very young, but we're a little older than last year. And we returned every player and it, it wasn't a big challenge at all to get ready for this season. These girls are, they're spectacular. I love them all, just like all the other coaches do, yeah. Okay, great. And uh, Coach, Coach Adams, can you tell us, um, well, first of all, I, I, what I like to refer to some of our repeat offenders, <laughs> you're, you're here again. Um, and Christ Church has had some consecutive years, pretty much, you know, building a dynasty there. Um, what is this, your fifth, sixth appearance, your sixth appearance? Oh. Oh, so everyone mute, mute your phones. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, coach. Let me ask that again. I, there was some interference with that, but is this your sixth appearance? As at the state championship? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm an old coach. I, this is my 15th year. I, this is 15th. State okay. But for Christ church, for Christ church. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, and can you tell us, like, what has that been like? Do you feel like this, this dynasty is cemented and you see, you see it continuing or? Well, um, yeah, every year is different. This, this, we have a young team also this year. It's probably the, the young, youngest team I've ever had. Have a lot of seventh, eighth, and ninth graders, half the team. We have our great, great senior captain here. This is our, my alum senior. So uh, every year is different. The, these, these young kids are, are, are great. They're, they're eager to play. And um, I don't know that I would call it a dynasty, but we, we've just uh, been fortunate to have a tennis program where the kids are interested in tennis and they work, work hard. All right, great. And I see that uh, we have representatives from Lucy Beckham have joined us. So really quick, I'm gonna stop the questions and just give them an introduction. Uh, coach, we have Coach Lizzle. It, did I say that correct? Liesl. Liesl? Yes, Liesl. Liesl, okay. Coach Liesl and uh, we have um, Kayla Fergus, Jr. And also, is it Ann? Annie Wilburn? Yes, Ann Wilburn, a junior as well. Okay, all right, got you all. Okay, we're gonna get back to the questions really quick. Thank you all for, for joining us. Uh, and from class 3A, we're gonna keep it, keep it with the coaches for right now, but um, with uh, Chapman, Coach Lansing, can you tell us something, probably the most important thing that you've learned from this particular team? The girls themselves have, have really taken the lead on this. Um, I came in as a new coach. The program was pretty much built. Came in with a really strong team, and I've kind of let them uh, lead the way. And I really haven't had to do much except to keep the ball rolling in the right place, and they've taken taken over and, and just gone out and worked hard and done the things that they need to do to be successful. All right, thank you. And Coach Harris from Oceanside, uh, tell us how long have you, how long have you been coaching tennis? Uh, for the high school, the it's my first year, so I do the boys also. Okay, you do yeah. boys as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and outside of outside of high school, um, I had tennis for a while, dudes. 
Okay. Do you, do you feel like, do you feel like you chose tennis or did tennis choose you? Uh, kind of, I, I chose tennis, but uh, I played other sports, but fell in love with the sport of tennis. Uh, I was actually playing and not to get too much into it, playing baseball. That was my main love. But uh, during a double header, uh, my dad uh, had some friends at the tennis courts and I uh, went down there between games and played tennis. And then it's been on since. <laughs> and that was when I was eight. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That is, that's a lot of experience. <laughs> yeah. All right. And moving to our class 4A uh, from AC Flora, Coach Martin. Was there a particular moment during the season that you felt that this year's team was headed to state? Um, I think after this, this group uh, clinched the tournament that we played in in Belton, it was very close down to the wire, came down to one set less given up to claim the title. And I think that gave them an extra boost of confidence. And from there, they just kept rolling it. So. That may, may, maybe that was the special moment, but they've been doing all, doing so well all year. So, okay, all right, and uh, let's see, Coach Lucy Beckham. Coach, can you tell us, um, Lucy Beckham, what this is the second year? That's right. Beck it's our second year. Yeah, second year. So, can you tell us what what is the secret? Is it? Do you think it's good coaching, quick learners, or just a great foundation? Um, I think a little bit of everything. I think we have a great foundation in that we play year-round so that when we start this season, you know, we're doing fine-tuning instead of having to start with the basics, so that really helps. Um, we've got Kayla over on my side here is a lacrosse player as well, so she doesn't play tennis year-round, but she's very involved in her sports, and I think the lacrosse is carrying over into the tennis. Um, yeah, I don't know that there is a secret. I think we all know tennis is a crazy sport and, you know, all sorts of upsets happen all the time. So I think just staying humble and working hard um, and, you know, we're, we're really excited to be here again. Okay, great. Thank you. And uh, going to our class 5A and let's see, uh, uh, we've got, we're going to go with our AD from Riverside. And let me ask you this. Uh, I had a, a question for the coach, but you, you know, I'm going to switch this up some. Uh, just from, from what you've witnessed this year with the team and the coach interacting with the student athletes, what do you think is the team's strongest skill set or attribute and to get them here? Yeah, our, our head coach is Heather Gage. Um, she was unable to be here this morning just due to some previous uh, sort of things she had to do. Mm -hmm. um, but she's done a tremendous job with our program. Uh, this is first time we've been back to state since 1999, uh, which I was talking with these two earlier. They weren't even born. So, um, so it's pretty awesome that we're back there. But I would say in the games I've gone to, they are super competitive. Um, they support each other tremendously. Um, as soon as a match gets over, win or lose, they're they're on to cheering cheering on someone else who's who's playing. Um, the matches I've been to have been very tight. We've gone to many. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> We're um, playing hazard. <laughs> that, 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 that's right. Um, but most of the matches I've been to have been very been very tight. Um, a lot of them have gone to tiebreakers, and 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 they battle through it. And a lot of times in sports, being battle tested. And being able to work through that stuff and to overcome that stuff helps you in the long run. I think that that helped us here. We had to go to a tie break against Spartanburg. We pulled it out. Uh, we went to a tie break in number two doubles against Malden and pulled it out. So, I mean, we've been to a lot of tie breaks. And I think uh, a lot of that stuff uh, helps you in the long run. But I would say the, mo the biggest thing I've seen from them is their competitiveness and their support of each other. Um, and those two things can, can lead you to where they're at now. Yeah, very important. Very imp important for any successful program. And uh, from Carolina Forest, Coach McNabb, uh, you've invited two of well, your two youngest players or two of your youngest players to represent the, your team today. Can you share with us why? Honestly, I mean, all of my girls are driven and passionate about tennis, but these two, I mean, 
they spend so much time and effort on this sport. I mean, they're just, they're, that's why I chose them. I mean, they hit all the time. They hit every day. They love to be out on court. So these were definitely my first two choices, of course. All right. Well, I'm going to give our, our, our youngest participant this morning the first student question, uh, and that's Katie, Katie Godfrey. Katie, you're our youngest guest, and can you, can you share with us your background and love of tennis that brought you to this stage? Um, yeah, so I started tennis when I was like 10, and my mom was actually the one that convinced me to get out and play. I didn't want to play, and um, I just ended up falling in love with it, and I mean, I haven't really taken a break since. I train year-round with like girls like Olivia, and it's just something that's really fun and great to do. And now, is this your first year with Carolina Forest? Um, no, ma'am. I played last year. Okay. So, okay. Well, that, that's good to know as well. Well, nice to have you, Katie, and, and look forward to watching you in the years to come. Thank you. And let's see, uh, Emma, Emma from Riverside, can you tell us what, what's been your most memorable time playing this season? Um, I would say our most memorable time playing this season was against Spartanburg. Um, this Monday, I think it was like um, just to see how like excited everyone was and like the enthusiasm and how we support each other was like crazy because like our match went down to like so many third sets and like third sets can go anyway. And to like see how much we support each other, I think that played a really big role in um, helping us win. And I think that's really important um, as a team. And do you have any memories or something that sticks out that's off the court that wasn't necessarily in play time, but something that uh, your team did or participated in off the court? Um, we have like a smoothie king, like <laughs> <laughs> it's like right next to the school. And like, sometimes we go there all the time as a team and it's like, it's really fun. So yeah. Oh, you're my kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Sydney, Sydney from Christ Church, can you tell us as a ninth grader, uh, first of all, is this, is this your first state final? Uh, no, ma'am. It's my third. Wow. Okay, great. Well, can you tell us how, how surprised or are you surprised to be back at state finals again this year? Um, I would say that, you know, we really worked hard to get here this year, so I'm just proud of our effort in getting here, and I think that that's, like, good for us, because I'm not surprised, because we work really hard at it. What, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the best part of playing with your sister? <laughs> the best part is definitely just like having her there for me like because we're one and two so it's like we're always there for each other on next to each other on court which I think is the best part all right let's see and um Elizabeth from Chapman can you tell us uh you you as a senior you've played through a traditional season you know normal school year traditional season then through a full-blown pandemic um, and kind of back again, but still, you know, a, a altered year. What got you through the ups and downs of what the last couple of years have been like? Um, definitely just our team. Like everybody on this team is always very motivated to play. And I think we just all kind of uh, energize each other and bring each other together. And um, that, that type of positive uh, mentality is just, has always kept me going. All right, thank you. And uh, from Oceanside, Grace, can you share with us uh, what, what's the journey to state been like? Um, well, for our team, it's definitely been hard because we've had to work at it. Um, but this past week has really shown that we're a great team and we really had to work hard to be here. And I think our energy on the court really helped us get to state for this weekend. And I just couldn't be any more proud of my team and we're not gonna let the opportunity go to waste, so. All right, great, thank you. And Siona, uh, can you tell us when you started playing tennis? 
Um, yes, ma'am. I started playing tennis when I was about nine years old. Um, I started out in a little local um, clinic, and then I've just been playing ever since. So I play with my sister and a lot of my family members, too. And what has been something that uh, this year that you have learned from Coach Martin? Um, I learned to never give up in a match. And I think some people have said it before, but that tiebreakers are so important. Um, Coach Amy's big on uh, just keeping your cool and playing with class and not being obnoxious. I think I've just really learned to keep my head from Coach Amy. All right. And Kayla from Lucy Beckham. What's it going to take to win this Saturday? It's going to take our team cheering on each other and us all supporting each other and playing our hardest and making this week special. All right. Thank you. Great. You guys are doing so great. It's like you got the questions in advance or something, but you're all very comfortable with your sport. I can see why you've all made it to, to state. Um, we're going to head back and get to uh, Riverside. Uh, Zona, as a team leader, let's say you're a senior this year, as a team leader, how do you think that your leadership uh, impacted the team as a whole this year? I think they all watch the, especially with me and Emma, she's the team captain. They watch the number one doubles matches and they see the competitiveness that they haven't experienced yet and they see what they need to feel on the court to get those tight matches and win those tiebreakers. All right, good. And Olivia from Carolina Forest, let's see, you're a ninth grader um, and, and at state, what does it, do, do you feel like being in the ninth grade and already being at state, do you feel like this is the, you know, pinnacle of your career that you, this is the high as it can get, or what are your thoughts on that when you have uh, several more years of high school to go? Uh, I think that we will continue to do good and have the opportunity to go to state because we have a very young team and we're all very into it and really good and we like it. So I think if we just keep our passion for tennis, we'll be able to go uh, far into um, keep going to states every year. Okay. How did you feel when coach asked you to participate in the press conference today? Uh, I was excited, but a bit nervous too. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We're, we're glad to have you. And Caroline from Christchurch, uh, what, what did you learn playing in the last, the last year, in last year's finals that you think will benefit you this weekend? Um, I definitely think like, realizing that it's just like any other match and not that yes there's a state championship on the line but to not go with all that pressure on yourself all right thank you and uh from philip simmons ansley when did you think that this year's team would make it to state was there a particular moment um i don't know if there's a particular moment but just kind of when we won our first match of state, so it was kind of just like, oh, like we can get to state this year. Okay. And uh, Wesleyan from Ch Chapman, what has been, can you tell us uh, one piece of advice that Coach Lansing has given you this year that has stuck with you when you think helped you get this far? Good advice. Good advice. And Ashton from Oceanside, um, you've had, you know, some tough teams this season. Who do you feel gave you the toughest competition this year? Well, so we played BE on Tuesday. They were definitely our toughest competition. We've lost to them. We played them three times this year and we lost the first two times. So we were really nervous going in. We were the underdogs. But um, like even though tennis is an individual sport, like the team spirit is so important. And, and like we really showed that on Tuesday and 
pulled out the win, and we're so excited for Saturday. Good. Okay. Great. And Francis from AC Flora, uh, do you think that your team has an advantage of? I, I feel like being a very experienced team, and you know, do you do you feel that you, there's an advantage? over all of the experience that your team has over the competition this year? Um, I think that we have good tournament experience. We have a lot of players who have played tournaments in the past. And I think that experience is definitely going to benefit us. Not a lot of us have had the experience though of playing in high pressure high school matches just because of COVID last year. And we have a lot of young players this year actually. So while our players do play tournaments, I think that that, that experience is going to help them so yeah okay let's see and Annie uh, let's see from Lucy Beckham Annie can you tell us um what have you personally improved upon this year I think mental toughness is something that anybody on any team can always improve on and I think that's been my biggest improvement this year I think Going into the season last year, we had no expectations because it was our first year ever as a high school and team. Um, and this year, we know what we're capable of. Um, we believe in each other so much. Um, the support is amazing. And I think that just making sure we're staying mentally sharp and tough and pulling out tough matches is very important. And it's played a big role just making it sustainable. Okay, great. That, that, that's very important. And let's see, Amelia from Philip Simmons. Uh, tell us what female athlete inspires you the most? Um, Serena Williams really inspires me because even after she had her baby, she still came back and she put her all into every match and she never gave up. And even after tough matches, she still keeps her head up and she has a really good attitude. Um, off, off the subject, but on the subject, are you excited about the new movie that's coming out? There's a new movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll talk to you Saturday about it, but yes, it's the story. It's actually the story of their father, um, but it, it will be out very soon. And it's Will Smith starring in it. So I'll have to share that with all of you all. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank, thank you. And I'm going to give a couple of questions back to some of our, our coaches or just spread them around. Um, let's see. Um, Coach Adams from Christ Church. Do you think that, okay, with it this year, we'll come, we're coming up on the Title IX 50th anniversary next year. And do you think that there's enough attention on female sports or on the equality in all aspects of athletics? Well, I think in 50 years, it's been amazing how that's, I was, I actually remember Title IX coming into effect when I was a freshman in college. I was playing tennis. So uh, uh, Billie Jean King was a great supporter. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's in, after several decades, it's amazing. I think that uh, what they've done because women, I think they deserve like equally uh, equal pay as, as the men did in tournaments and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, things have been pretty amazing. Okay, great. And, and Coach Lansing, I'm going to throw that at you just to get a, a, a different perspective. How do you feel that uh, Title IX has impacted, uh, especially, you know, I guess, you know, primarily the effects that it's had on our younger generations coming up? I've coached um, pretty much all sports um, and girls mostly. Um, and I think that the success that the girls have shown throughout the sport has really paved the way for um, just for just for the girls to follow behind them. I mean, we we the girls we have on our team right now are amazing. They not just they don't just set the example within the school as far as their tennis goes, but the character that they have displayed, the class, the humbleness that they do when they play. It just sets us apart and then as an example to all the guys. So I think that we're, we're just, I mean, I think that it's the girls and their success and how, what they bring to the table that really is created the success for Title IX. All right, thank you. 
And um, some of you have mentioned things um, with your communities and I, you know, I've seen things on social media with, with the, your communities over the years rallying behind you whenever you, you make it to the playoffs and you're leading to state. Uh, let's see, Coach Schultz, can you tell us, uh, do you have a message for the community and your fan base? We're the, one of the newer schools. We're just celebrating our fifth year. Our football team's in the playoffs. That's quite a jump that they've made. All the teams, our, our principal loves to say that what three-fourths of all our student body are in athletics. And very few schools can say that. We have churches that support us. We have people that come and cook food, uh, work concession stands, do everything in the community for the football. Back to your question about girls. These two young ladies here, they're, they're the co-captains. They're 10th graders. They're strong in the community. Both of them do everything they can to bring the other younger players up. Mm -hmm. And I'm a grandfather and I have daughters and granddaughters that are recipients of Title IX. And I think it's spectacular. And girls can do anything boys can do and do it better. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I agree. That last sentiment, yes. <laughs> okay. And um, let's see, with uh, we're gonna go with uh Riverside. Same question. As an AD, what has the community uh meant to this program in particular and the school as a whole? Oh, the, the community we live in is fantastic. Um, they're they're really supportive. Um, you know, when I came in, one of the biggest things I wanted to do was to get more community involvement, more alumni involvement, uh, kind of back how it kind of used to be back in the days of the stories I've heard of Louis Golden and all and all those and all those guys. So our community is great. Um, they follow us on our social media. Um, I see them all the time and I see them out in the community and they tell us, you know, how, how great it's to be able to follow the, the athletes on social media with all the updates and stuff like that. So it's been it's been really fun. Our, our community is is, is hungry for winners and, uh, and and these girls and our other teams have been giving it to them with success that we've had with, with, with a lot of our programs. So, but our community is really, really supportive and uh, we appreciate that as a school and as I'm sure they do as athletes. And uh, it really helps us when matches get close and games get tight. Thank you so much. And let's see, uh, Coach Harris, can you tell us uh, from last year, last year, you know, threw us all for a loop. This year, we still came into, you know, the fall season with, at, you know, added protocols, safety, et cetera. Um, share with us, what did you in particular do to make sure, ensure that the tennis program continued? Uh, just uh, with communication with the schools uh, and our students, and uh, the team just uh, staying safe uh, and found the guidelines. And, uh, you know, and that's what, uh, you know, stay positive as much as we can during this pandemic. Uh, it's tough for everybody. And we're just happy to have this season and part of last season. Um, I know the boys last year was tough and this year with the girls, I mean, it's going to be with us, I think, for a little while. So we got to just stay positive, stay healthy. And, um, but I'm very happy for, you know, all the coaches. Uh, for reaching the state championship, Coach Lansing uh, and his team. We look forward to Saturday. And, um, you know, and for all the seniors, you know, we're happy for my seniors, uh, Ashton to my right and Grace to my left. We got two other seniors, Jordan Brown, Grayson Harris. So I'm happy for them that they were able to do this. And uh, we're just excited for Saturday. And uh, I think every, all of us are. So, uh, so. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And from uh, Lucy Beckham, Coach. With the tennis program doing so well, what impact do you think that's going to have on the other female sports at your school? Um, well, I, I, you know, it, it is really fun to establish, you know, ourselves, and and it is really nice to know that we might be role models for some of the other um, girls. Um, yeah, so we hope that we've done a good job with that and that we've um, just shown that, you know, hard work pays off. Um, but yes, it's very exciting to um, be the first um, of the school to do something so special. 
All right, great. Thank you so much. And also, can I can I hear from Coach McNabb? Do you think that making this run to state, how what's the impact you think that will have on your other female sports? I think honestly, just the grace and drive that these girls have shown with this sport this season. I mean, it they already are a great example to the rest of the school. I mean, we've already got posters up and people talking about us and how excited they are for us. I mean, I think already we've just made a huge impact on this school just by how positive these girls are, how excited these girls are, how talented these girls are. I mean, they just see it too. So it's obviously going to create, you know, a lot of motivation with them as well. So. Thank you. Can everyone make sure they have their computers muted? There's some interference. Um, okay, well, we're about to close, but before we do, I want to give each of you the opportunity to uh, spread the love and say something nice about your opponent. So we're going to start with Coach Adams. Can you give us a, you know, a read on uh, Philip Simmons? Well, um, what I'd like to say is that Myself and, and, and the coach are probably very similar in age. So uh, I think we understand a lot of things because we've, uh, we've lived through a lot of many, many years and decades of, uh, of tennis. So we had, we had that connection. Okay. All right. And Coach Schultz, can you do the same? Can you share with us your thoughts on Christ Church? You already laid a heavy on us calling them a dynasty. All right? We know that. We we. <laughs> We played them last year. We're a little bit older this year. We have re we had a ten and one record, and uh, we're going to take that record and we're going to go to Columbia and we're going to try to beat a dynasty. That's what we're going to try to do. Yes, ma'am. All right. We're already winners. All, all eight of us are already winners. Oh yes, definitely. Everyone uh, is sitting here looking back at me, definitely. And uh, Coach Lansing from Chapman, can you tell us your thoughts on Oceanside? This is the fourth year in a row that these girls have reached the, the state final. So, and they they continue to, I guess, go up against Bishop England. And for Oceanside to beat them, it just shows that they're a really quality program. And that we're going to have a, obviously a difficult challenge on our on our, you know, for us to just go meet the challenge. And we're going to go out there and do our best. So, good luck to you. All right, thank you. Coach Harris from Oceanside, would you mind sharing your thoughts on Chapman? Yes, uh, yeah, I'm sure Coach Lassing and his team is gonna be ready. Uh, we're gonna be ready. Um, again, I thank Kevin uh, Beaton BE uh, for the lower state championships helped us with confidence. Uh, again, we lost to them twice and they were kind of standard. They, they won state 10 years in a row. I mean, um, and so, uh, our girls fight, and uh, it's going to be a fun, exciting match, and uh, we look forward to it. All right. Thank you, Coach. And uh, representing AC Floor, Coach Martin, can you share your thoughts on Lucy Beckham? Uh, we know from just seeing them last year that how deep and strong they are, being, even, even though it's just their first year. We know they train 24-7, seven days a week, um, tournaments and, and such. Um, so their depth, we have depth. So I think we'll have a great match. All right, thank you. And uh, from Lucy Beckham, Coach, can you share with your thoughts on AC Flora? Yes, well, we've never played them before. Um, and I think you're... you're... Um, we've never played AC Flora before, so it's definitely a brand new team to us, which is very exciting. In our playoff matches, we uh, played two teams who we also played in our regional matches twice before. So that was the third time we played a team we had already played before. So it's just, it's fun to play a new opponent. And I'm, I'm really excited to see some beautiful tennis on Saturday. All right. And uh, for class 5A, we have Riverside and a, a co our coach, Heather Gage, could not be with us, but we do have our AD, Michael Patet. And if you could give us your opinion on Carolina Forest. 
Uh, well, Miss Newman, our uh, our head coach was able to uh, to zoom in, so she's actually oh. able to be here right now. So I'm going to turn okay. it over to our coach Hi. Heather Page, who has done done a phenomenal job this year. So I'm going to turn it over to her. And yes, definitely. Uh, Hi, we do have we have Heather Gage with us. So, Coach Gage, can you tell us, you know, your thoughts on Carolina Forest? Hi, yeah, I'm, apologies I'm uh, for the loud background, but I'm glad I'm able to catch tail end here. Uh, we're excited. I, you know, being newer to the program, we had we didn't have the opportunity to even make it into playoffs last year. So this is all new. So I'm going to echo some comments from the previous remarks of just looking forward to some exciting competitive tennis. We're going to bring some high energy. I'm expecting a great opponent. Um, they've done some amazing things this season. So it's going to be to me really good we're excited all right thank you and so glad you were able to even if there was the end you still are a part of it thank you and uh coach McNabb can you share your thoughts on Riverside uh you know same thing I mean we know we're going to be going up against some you know intense competition but you know one thing I do know is that these girls are going to be ready I mean we're, we're expecting to play our best tennis that day and we're just so excited so we're pumped to be playing you all and we really look forward to Saturday guys Great. That that rounds out the questions. But I just want to express that you all done a phenomenal job this morning representing your schools and your communities and your tennis programs. And I'm definitely looking forward to Saturday. I'll be there with bells on. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to everything that you bring to the court. And before we close, I just want to make sure that uh, I remind our viewers that uh, if you are wanting to attend, please be sure to uh, be at the Casey Tennis Center this Saturday. We're going to get started, let's see, with our uh, 10 a.m. rounds will be the 4A and 5A. Class 4A and 5A will be starting at 10 o'clock, and our 2A and 3A will be starting at noon. So be sure to make your way to the Casey Tennis Center, uh, and information is also on our website with all the details about uh, Saturday. Also, um, if you want the opportunity to keep supporting the South Carolina High School League, you can also participate next week. We have coming up cross country Thursday and Friday. Then we following that we have competitive cheer. Then of course we have Thanksgiving and then we're going to end our uh, fall season with football. But right now it's all about tennis. So make your way to KC. Casey Tennis Facility this Saturday starting at 10 and then starting again at noon. We want to thank our sponsors one more time, Wilson, as well as the Lexington Medical Center. Without you, this would not be possible. So thank you for supporting the High School League and thank you for supporting the ladies of our girls tennis programs. With that, I wish you all well. See you Saturday. Have a great day, South Carolina.